Once you've made sure your app works well with VoiceOver, a great next step is to make sure it works with voice input. That it works well with Apple's voice control technology that lets users control your app just by speaking to it. Now, voice input lets users activate controls through names or numbers on the screen, with the names being generated automatically based on what you present. For example, here's a really trivial example. If I said uh, we have a button just saying, tap me, and we'll just do print button tapped. Real simple. Now, because this thing will show tap me on the screen, visible to uh, the user to see, as you can see right here, it can be activated by saying, press tap me when the user has voice control activated. That's neat and it works really well, but in practice, it's often more complex than that. You want to have alternatives. For example, let's say you had a button uh, amongst a whole bunch of other buttons. And this one is a list of all the presidents of the United States of America, for example. So you might say, uh, this button here has John Fitzgerald Kennedy. And this little print, his JFK was tapped, right? And that would work well with tap John Fitzgerald Kennedy. But wouldn't it be great to also say tap Kennedy or tap JFK? Or how about recognizing all three of those at once? This is where SwiftUI needs a little bit of extra help from us with a different modifier called Accessibility Input Labels. This thing accepts an array of strings that can be attached to this button here, so user can trigger it in a variety of ways. And so, to trigger this button here with those three different options for the president's name, we would say this button has accessibility input labels of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the one that you can actually see on the screen, then Kennedy, and then JFK. And now the user can say any of those things, tap Kennedy, tap JFK, whatever, and they'll all trigger that same button. And the goal here really is to help users activate your controls using whatever seems natural and easiest to them. You can provide as many strings as you want in this array right here, and iOS will just listen for all of them.